Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance as Portugal. Let us continue on for last time off. As you can see, the invasion of England is going uh, pretty decently, I would say. But Germany is essentially outright refusing to even um, like join the war. Like they, they don't, they want no part of it. They, they don't want to be involved in our invasion of England. For whatever reason, they feel like it's beneath them. But it's July of 1940, so you know what? Let's go for... I only have a bonus to use. So you know what? Let's, let's do it. We got a... Oh, look! A single Italian division has decided to show up. And what is potentially the most important battle of the war. I mean, I guess the Battle of France is also kind of important. Trotsky is dead. That's fine. Wait, no, they came out of that province and they didn't even go try to take it. Which is an interesting strategy, I would say. Like, how many men did- how many- We've lost 65,000, mostly against the British. We have killed 170,000 British troops, which is pretty good. We've gotten them down to 44% capitulation right now. Guys, stay here for now. We've kicked you out of this province. See if we can make something work here as well. Like, we still have a decent amount of manpower as well. Uh, we don't need to be building intel down there anymore. Let's build intel networks in the north. I mean, is there anybody who's, like, kind of fashy? Who might want to join our faction? I mean, the Soviets are just fighting a war against Finland. So you know what, my spy? Let's do some diplomatic pressure in Helsinki. And maybe... Because I think there's a decent chance that if Finland goes to war with the Soviets, uh, the Germany's going to get involved. And that's not impossible. You're doing fighter focus. Are you just not going to... Um... Like, yeah, Bulgaria doesn't even have a focus tree. Sad news for them. So counterattack, counterattack. You guys push here. One of you guys goes to hull. I'm amazed that I'm able to kill all of Britain just by myself. It's actually, honestly, it's kind of sad. Like, okay, Britain is at 40%. Liverpool, Manchester, and Sheffield might be all we need to actually win. I'm not too sure if that's true or not, but it's entirely possible. And we just researched our marines. Fantastic. A little bit too late, but... You know, let's go for marines too. If at some point we want to go war, let's say, Japan, having marines probably is going to be useful for that. Some troops moving up towards the north. You go here, you go here, and you go towards Scotland. And you guys are completely cut off from supplies, which is lovely. And we're about to take over... Um, Liverpool as well. I don't think Liverpool is going to be enough for their capitulation. Oh, it's very close, though. It's extra. Okay, Newcastle is worth 10. Let's go take that city. Fall of Cairo. J Britain's just having a bad day, uh, to say the least. Let's see if we can pull into Manchester. 
Newcastle has fallen, getting them down to 22%. And I think any city at this point is going to be their fall. And we've claimed their colonies. I don't think we'll be able to do anything else, though. Like, we'll recover the East Indies, sure. And we research some better tanks. But any city to fall... Manchester is worth five victory points. It might be... That might be it. It's not it. Okay. Almost, but not quite. I'm guessing... Are they at exactly 20? Yeah, they're exactly 20% right now. What we need to do is we need to push them out of, um, probably out of Leeds then, I guess. They did take back Newcastle, so, and I think they did kill one of my troops, which is a little bit sad, so. The war is not quite over. But it's getting closer to being over every day. Troops are reinforced up here. Thank you. Luckily, they didn't try to take back Hull. That actually could have been dangerous, but... Then more troops into Leeds. I mean, Ed or Glasgow, Edinburgh, Leeds actually were 15. So actually, Leeds might be able to get us to victory by midnight tonight. And just like that, World War II is over. Oh, shit. Well, okay, wait, wait, okay, wait, wait. Can I reload that, please? I forgot that I did not have the, the mod on. Uh, please load the autosave. Yes. I'm very dumb. My brain is not working properly. Okay, the United Kingdom's capitulated. We now get to make some claims. We actually have the most right now, which is lovely. So what's my first goal? Well, it's to take over Southern England and turn. Um, next. What else can we even take over? Only stuff from Poland and Yugoslavia? I guess I'll puppet Yugoslavia and Poland? This is gonna be a mess, isn't it? Yeah, this is horrible. Are you a puppet of Germany then? Yes. Even though I claim this territory, I have claims on it, by the way. Just in case you didn't know that, but sure. Uh, put one more factory here. I mean, we all like it. We're, we're befriending Japan right now. And I guess at this point, we're just going to put our men on the Soviet border. Wow, the, the, um, improve relations. Apparently, the, the British Empire does exist. Where? Where is your capital? I don't know. All I know is that, um, without player piece mods on, like, it's just an actual disaster. I don't even have, um... They chance for Toulon either. So we got tiny ass Poland. I got tiny ass Yugoslavia over here. God, does it look terrible? Yeah, and we also got the um, bad shit. We got a root out resistance then. 
in these territories here. Um, your total artillery support equipment. You're going to be better basically everywhere, I think. Yes. Civilian oversight. Compliance goes down. Local police force. I mean, it looks like this is actually going... It's still increasing, right? Stability is still low. Okay, understandable. Eight point victory. Civilian oversight. I mean, Angola is also trying to resist against us. We might actually, you know, replace these with just actual infantry divisions. Those actually suppress less. Okay, never mind. Forced labor. Brutal oppression. I mean, compliance is growing. It's going by 0.7 right now. So let's throw in a secret police force. The Yugoslavian Confederation declared war on my Yugoslavia. You guys? The anti-German military? Okay. I actually think this is bugged. Right now. Um... Can you join my war, Italy? Thank you. I don't think you have any troops, right? No. So you're basically just dead in the water. They don't even have a border with each other. Which is a little bit funny when you think about it. So... Resistance, low stability. Resistance spread from the Greater London area. Yeah, Rudo resistance in London itself. We got some basic armored cars. There's some penetration chance. Resistance is still growing. Compliance is kind of bad. We can do martial law. Um. I think. Rebellion at high enough points. Well. I don't know if there's really anything I can do about that at the moment. Uh, so we'll get you guys draw an offensive line towards this river. And when are you planning on evading? 95 days. You're already doing war with the USSR though, so that makes things simple for us. Are, are you putting the axis? Force abdication? I think that might force you into it. And my Yugoslavia has actually gotten a little bit bigger. Just by random chance almost. Which is nice. Yeah, let's make the better armored car. Like, how's resistance growing in, uh... The lot in German territory as well. Is it still growing? No, it is going down now. Resistance grows base value. Okay. But hopefully stability will be a little bit less bad in the future. Recover Brazil.
probably not right now. I mean, we do have a border with them. How many troops does Brazil have? 8 to 17 divisions. Okay, not bad. Italy is massive, by the way. They've really made a big colonial empire for themselves. Probably not going to support them in their war against uh, Greece. Mostly because I don't care about the war in Greece. Uh, oh, that's a bunch of research slots that I've not been looking at. whoops a daisy So let's go with you. We will now go for, let's say, better military police. Even though I know they're very ahead of time, it's fine. And they've already got troops in Athens as well. So I, don't, I can't imagine Greece lasting too much longer. You would not accept. Do you think you're too strong? Okay. Greece has joined the Chinese United Front. Obviously. What else would they be a part of? See, this... There are problems with Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, this is definitely one of them. I'm guessing they don't want to join the common turn because they are uh, communist. And as such, they don't want to be associated with them. I, I think Finland... I mean, they're doing the Liberty Ethos. So we'll see how this actually all ends up turning out. But I can't imagine China is... Yeah, they're mostly dead already as well. Okay, so we got Marines too. Um, Infantry anti-tank. You know what? Let's go for that as well. You guys actually don't have a border. <laughs> the border... The border gore of Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 is just... It's incredible. Like, it's almost a work of art. And you guys are still building up again. Compliance, strength. It's not growing up by that much. Sure, Japan become a non-alliance. Or non-aggression pact, I should say. Can I have garrison support? Is that the manpower to give us? You have a million manpower. You have... No, you don't. You have... Uh... You have 1.3 million manpower. And yet you can't provide us uh, some troops for some garrisons? I see how it is. 26%. And we're now at war with the Soviet Union. Okay. Lowest building 19, 20. Secret police is negative 30. Compliance strength of 11. Like, what does... What happens when it gets to Rebellion? Don't know. Also, I still don't know where Mosley is. Like, he's part of the faction. Oh, he, he lives in Gibraltar. Okay. Yeah, obviously. That's where Mosley lives. He lives in Gibraltar. Makes perfect sense. Uh, we do some unassigned units. We can actually probably send everybody to the front line now. We don't need to be get, uh, defending Lisbon. I'm essentially nobody. The United States... I mean... You could still get involved... Yeah, who's actually in the ally still? It's just Canada and Australia. No, it's not. It's Canada and New Zealand. Everybody else has joined the Axis. Okay. Yeah, and now you guys are to invade China yourself. It's, a, it's just a weird situation. We're now at war with the Soviets. As well. Um, 
that they call Norway in. But I can't help but notice that none of you guys actually want to attack. I mean, Greece somehow is still not dead. They're at 20%. If they lose any city and they're going to capitulate, Hungary is trying to push their way through these mountains. Romania, do you want the access? Please call the arms immediately. You do not want to get involved. Okay, then. A little bit disappointing, but what can you do? So, yeah, we're aboard the Soviet Union now. And apparently nobody in our faction seems very comfortable with the idea of actually doing anything. Uh, what we want to do right now is we want to root out resistance. Sure, Vichy France, we can have some support. Thank you. Do you actually want to join the faction? You might, might not be allowed to. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so we actually have an open front line now where we can kind of exploit a little bit. But the Soviets, I think, just have so many men. Somewhere between 100 and 350 divisions, which is probably more than what we have. Right now, feel the manpower is still on our side, even taking into account the Soviet Union and China. China is just... They're our enemy for weird reasons that don't make a ton of sense, but... It's fine, I'm sure. Paramilitary training. No, we don't need to do any of this stuff. We'll call in our little puppet states that don't actually do anything. Like, how much manpower do you even have? 136. I mean, Yugoslavia at least has 1.65 million. It's better than nothing. But it still isn't a lot. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my anthem. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. Now, enjoy, throw your thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.